Now, if you are fully or partially responsible for the health and proper setup and configuration of your ONTAP clusters, it might be pretty hard to keep track of all the settings and whether you are compliant with the best practices. Also, it may be that an engineer has been setting up things for you and you want to make absolutely sure that there are no single points of failure in the configuration. Now, a great tool to help you with that is the ActiveIQ Config Advisor. And if you want, you can download the traditional version for Windows, Mac and Linux from the My Support website. But currently, NetApp have created a containerized version that runs on Docker. And that's exactly what we're going to check out in the next couple of minutes. We're not going to talk about downloading the Docker engine itself, but there's a link in the description on how to get started with that. And there's also some additional information on the Config Advisor in the Docker Hub. And that's the other link in the description. And finally, there's the command to pull and start the container from the Docker Hub. And we're definitely going to perform that pull action. And then we'll run a full check of a cluster and check out the results. So let's start. As it happens, I run this from my MacBook. So I'm logged into my MacBook, but it may just as well be Windows or Linux, as long as you've got the Docker engine up and running. The first thing we need to do is start the config advisor by getting the image and starting it with two free ports on the local host and the default port 80 and 443 inside the container. And we have to accept the end user license agreement and the container should be started instantaneously. So then we open up a browser and we connect to port 4430 in my case. Now we have to enter a passphrase and we have to enter it twice. So if we return to this environment, we just enter the passphrase to, to connect again, so to say. Now the first thing that happens here is that we get a notification that there's a newer version, but we're very happy with the current one, so we skip this for now. And then we can optionally configure some additional settings like proxy, email and upload stuff. But the only thing that's checkboxed is the auto support, because that's very, very important, obviously. But since I'm running a simulator, I'm not interested in that. In real life, you obviously want to configure all of this. But for now, we save it like it is. And the health check tab gives us some options. We can check out the last run, but since this is the first time we connect, there's nothing to check. So we have to choose. Do we want to check an ONTAP cluster, a metro cluster, the hybrid cloud infrastructure or E-series? Or do we want to import collected files from auto support? Well, we just disabled that. So the only thing we're interested in right now is our on-premises ONTAP cluster. So we go for that. Now, the first thing we enter is the cluster we want to check and it defaults to admin. So we enter the admin password and in advanced settings, we can set some additional security measures like multi-factor authentication and a private key, but we don't right now. And then in the very interesting list next to advanced, we see all commands that are going to be executed on our cluster by default. And there are hundreds. First time, this would be a good idea. The second time, we can filter by toggling all checkboxes and just select the ones we kind of want to recheck to make sure that we repaired what was incorrect. But this is the first time, so we check all boxes. And then we save and evaluate. Now we have to give it a project name, which we can load again later. And since we're checking everything possible, let's call it check all. And we add this project to a group. And since we have no group yet, we pick a random name. So that will be our first group. And next, we can set a schedule to repeat it via an interval schedule or a cron schedule. But we just want to run it once. So we created our first project in its own group and we can run it by clicking rerun. And it tells us that the project is running and we follow its progress. If we want to follow it live, we can expand and it shows us all commands that it's currently running. Now this may really take quite some time, especially when you run the simulator like I do. So I fast forward a little bit and then we see that it's done. And then we load the results and see most checks have passed the test. But there is one medium impact problem and four best practices that we obviously missed. Now the medium impact problem says that we have all our cluster interconnects on the same switch. So we're not redundant. That's really very bad. We have to fix that. And for best practices checks, we will also need to check. But these are less urgent than the first one. And luckily, all the other tests were OK. And then when we check our project once more, we could rerun it, we could clone it. So that would mean that we'd have 
the same project twice and we could rerun the second one, for example, we could add a schedule or edit the project further, or we could even delete it. But instead of all that, we go home and see that our first test is a fact and we can take it from here. Or we're done.